Hello all, welcome to my new video. Today we are going to discuss about PowerShell scripting for organizational unit OU. How to create OU, how to move a server to OU, and how to add a server to an OU. So let's begin. So we'll have two servers. Already you know test server one is in domain, and the second one it is test server two. That is a new server which I created. It's in work group. So now we are going to start the scripting how to add the command for is new hyphen add organizational unit name and the, give the name of organizational unit so we will verify our ad so we we'll run so there was no organizational unit so we are refreshing it you have to refresh once it is done So once it is done, there is a organization unit called PowerShell. So this is the one which we have created. So we can move the servers what we want to this organization unit. Then next is we are going to add a server sorry uh, to create a uh, child OU means the OU which we created inside that we will create one more so the name is PowerShell 1 and we are giving a path we have to give a path then it will point so we have to run so it is completed we have to verify in the AD so we will go and refresh so you can see PowerShell 1 is created under PowerShell Then next is we will add a server to an organizational unit. So my, we have a server called test server 2. That is a new server which is in work group. So this is the command. We already discussed how to add a server to domain with two methods. We are using the second method by manually entering the password. So we have to give up organizational unit which is the OU and the DC apu.com that is what dc is equal to and then run the command and it will ask for the credentials of p account privilege account and uh, local administrator so once you are running we have to wait for some time So we'll wait uh, to, for the server to add to the domain. It will take some time. Okay, we are getting an error. This is interesting. So cannot establish the WMA connection to the computer test server 2 that is an error the following message the RPC server is unavailable so you guys remember about the ex exclusion policies and all so this is because of that so that server uh, exclusion policy will be remote sign-in so we have to check so open log into that server and open the PowerShell prompt and type the command get exclusion Sorry, get execution policy, not exclusion, execution policy. Then it will show remote sign in. Then you have to set the execution policy. And apologize, it is execution, not exclusion. So I, so it will uh, allow the third party power, I mean, script to be run over the remote set execution policy and you have to type tab and it will show all the we will go for the last one called unrestricted so type click s yes for all and it is done now we'll go back to our ad server where we are trying to add the server to 
domain so i'll run the i'll minimize it now we are running the script also the server should have a static ip that should be in mind before adding to domain and we'll see whether the server is rebooting still the script is running so we can see it is in running state We have to wait for some time then only we will be able to join. yes the server got rebooted so it is adding to the domain and it is rebooted so we can verify the server whether it is added to the domain or not we can go to the OU and go and refresh the OU so it will take some time oh, oh my ID got not responding let's wait for a couple of seconds we'll see this is taking some time normally it won't take this time but we have to wait unfortunately I don't have a good configuration system so, yes I think it is coming back So it is trying to get refreshed. So once we are refreshing the page, you will come to know the test server 2, the CRV2 is in our organization unit called PowerShell. Then now next we will go for another script. How to move. So here we have to give a server name so we'll put get ad yeah get ad object test server 2 and we are running the script okay okay one minute i think i given a wrong ou we have to give the ou because already our server is in uh, PowerShell so we cannot move to the same so we should have given PowerShell 1 that is my mistake okay we will see so already the server is in PowerShell so we cannot move the same server to the same OU now what we will do means we will try to just uh, see whether other uh, we will try to change the server name and we will move the server to that server to the OU because we have one more server test server one so we'll get ad object move ad object so move ad object is the syntax so we are using a pipeline now refresh it so our server is done so test server 1 that is in now we are moving to thanks for watching my video please like subscribe and share thank you